rewrite this angular code but you get the gist of it i'm actually probably going to end in a couple minutes cuz i want to go get some food real quick is our flatlander store in it you can see we have several some actual food instead of pizza you can tab through different information about each of them and we have reviews you'll see a list of reviews and we'll even be able to submit our own review using this form here the first step if you want to start playing with angular is to download the library from the official website don't care in the application we'll be building in this course, we're going to be using Twitter Bootstrap, which you also might want to download. And feel free to follow <laughs> along. Let's start coding up our HTML. You can see here we've included the CSS for Twitter Bootstrap, and we've included the Angular library, which we downloaded as well. The next component of our Angular application that we need to learn about is modules. Modules are where we write pieces of our Angular application. It's how we keep our code encapsulated. How I loop that makes our code more me loop back more readable and more testable. Also, it's where we define all of the dependencies for our application. Okay, so module, and we can tell our code this module depends on. I have not used it before. So it shouldn't surprise you that the very piece of code that you write in Angular is a module line. Nice, nice. Our app, that's our application, equals Angular. I have not Angular checked this out before. I've heard of it, but module, I have not tried it. Store, and then in that little array syntax, we define dependencies. We don't have any dependencies yet, but we still have to send in an empty array. Okay. Because that's how we roll. This piece of code is going to live inside an app.js file. So we're going to need to include that in our HTML, as you can see right here. Then we'll need to add an attribute to our HTML tag. In this case, ng-app equals store. Okay. ng-app, remember, is another directive. This directive creates an Angular application by running this module when the document loads. This is cool. The module isn't doing anything yet, but just by including it, it's going to treat the HTML inside of this element as part of the Angular app. And this means we can start writing expressions. Expressions are how we insert dynamic values in uh. HTML. Here's some basic ones, just using numerical operations. So if we say I am 4 plus 6, that's going to render out on the page as I am, I am 10. 10. We can also do string operations, saying hello plus you, and that's going to evaluate to hello you, as we might expect. We'll be using lots of expressions inside of our Angular application, so for more that examples, check out the viewer office. <laughs> I remember that. So if I move hello you into our Angular application... No, it's like a 15-minute drive to a Walmart for me, hello and I don't like Walmart anyway. So we learned about directives, modules, and expressions. Oh, I can Why download it. Them all together in the challenges, and I'll see you in the next section. Okay, so let's move you. Start challenges. Our app. So shrink this a little bit. Uh, equals Angular dot module. Gem store. I think this is it. Let's try it. No, uh. Welcome back. In this section, we're going to be learning no, about No, go control. back. Controllers help us get. Oh. Right. Fuck, I'm going full screen on this for a second so I can catch up. Oh, uh, fuck. I am. Yeah. Good night, deck room. Thanks for stopping by. Glad you stayed here. Uh, glad you came back. Pretty sure he fails. I'm just going to start ignoring you, angry masturbator. You're. S yeah, I'm not familiar with JS at all. That's why I've been writing my thing in JS because I'm so uncomfortable with it. So, create a story module. Yeah, I was right. Good night, Zenware. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, comma, da da. Crap, how do I submit my answer? Oh, it automatically does it. So, ng app or ng controller. Let's try this out. Not quite. There we go. I think. Might be ng app. Okay, save bug. 
Yeah, it's ng app. No, I'm not heading out just yet. Probably going to go for at least 15 more minutes. Okay. Uh, hello, Angular. And comma. That should be good. Am I not being simple enough for you? Thanks for stopping by, no News for Ninjas. Ah, uh, sure thing. Just message me your Skype. Oh, I think I know who this is. Yeah, Nathan. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, I'll hit you up as soon as I'm done. There we go. That's... No? That's correct, though. Oh, man, I know that feeling. It's like, okay, time to get some sleep. Okay. Yeah, I can't get some sleep because I need to wake up in 10 minutes. Yeah, I'll be going for another 10 minutes. Damn. Why, you know, work. Hello, plus angular. That's exactly what I did, you bastard. So, fuck you. Continue. Start challenges, because I don't feel like listening to you. So, what are we doing? Another chat conversation. You know, I'm just going to stop coding right now because I'm zoned out. I'm just going to talk with you guys. Foundation versus Pure versus Bootstrap. I personally hate Bootstrap with a passion because it's not properly designed in my opinion. It's got kind of a hodgepodge of ways it includes itself. Um, foundation, if I want like everything done for me, I would definitely go that route, but Pure is my favorite because it's just minimalistic. It's got lots of features for how little it is, and it's just a fun framework to use. Not to mention it actually prefixes itself, so if you want to do like uh, if you want to have your own little grid system that's got the same names you can do that because it's pure dash dot 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 da and actually you could stream yourself learning code I might stream myself learning go it's something I've been meaning to do for a while There we go. It's actually pretty cool, just the language, because it's very, it's more minimalis minimalistic than some languages. It's designed to be able to fit in one programmer's head the entire language and specification. And it's actually fun to work with. It's got some weird quirks that I'm still working out, but I do want to learn it. Or I should just go learn more Python. I'm not wholly experienced with that. Streaming is actually not terrible. 
uh, on the processor if you're doing it low, like, yeah, I'm only 19. I just fake it till I make it. Yeah, I'm doing it at 500 kilobits per second, uh, 25 frames per second at uh, half downscaled, I think. And welcome, Pingasaurus. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you do, don't forget to drop that follow. Right now, we're kind of winding it down, doing some Q&A and stuff. What language? Uh... What language are you talking about, Retroid? Who needs a camera? I only have mine here because I like seeing my own face and you guys seeing my reaction or me being like, huh. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Freaking angry masturbator. Anyway, let's go talk about something else other than turning Saybuck into a cam whore. Or a voice whore in this case. Uh, I was talking about Go before. Might do a learning stream on that. <laughs> Coyote. Uh, Egomaniac? Is that what you're thinking of? <laughs> Would you like some ice for that burn? Yeah, it does seem pretty interesting. I could work for Clip Candy. I'll just go and apply over at Happy Hustle later. Let's see, how many followers did we get tonight? Come on, Twitch alerts. Come oh, that's right. I know why. Let's see. Uh, so we got noobs to ninjas, dead steam, Odomat, Kubido, code red, and ring two three two three. And I think we actually got some others that aren't showing up on here for some reason. It'll just burn you a different way. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Happy's not on right now? He really is. I enjoyed watching his stream last night. Like, I think I know I'm gonna, who I'm going to be hosting on Wednesdays from now on. When Force isn't on. Yeah, Happy fu Hustle. Happy Hustle. Holy crap, I can totally English. He was fun to watch. It does, especially when said cold thing is naked. <laughs> you don't know where my tongue go goes. You guys are crazy. You crazy. But yeah, it would definitely burn considering that's, what, negative 237 degrees Fahrenheit? Oh my god, you guys, mainly you, Saypug. I'm looking at you with one eye because I'm trying to facepalm. Oh yeah, we scared off Pingasaurus. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up and go get some food before Force of Hell starts. All sorts of poles. Especially those north and south poles. But yeah, honestly, I can't stand streaming on Linux because 
I don't have CLR browser. I don't have the same GPU optimizations because I got the AMD integrated CPU GPU. Um, it's the chroma keying is really weird on it. That will be plenty of time to get the store in back. Good night, guys. Thanks so much. Force, do a dance. Take care. Goodbye. Um, I forget. Plenty of freaks. I'll just leave it at that.